So, people come up and ask me, they ask me, Dave, what are you playing? Right, and I'll tell them, right now, I'm playing Evil Quest. This game kind of recently came out on Desura, just, just today, in fact, the day I record this, Wednesday, uh, February 29th. I know, this is a weird day, huh? And, uh, so, it kind of just came out recently. It's been out on Xbox Live Indie Games for about a, uh, about... Well, sometime since the beginning of January, about... I don't exactly follow Xbox Live Indie Games, and I'm pretty sure Microsoft doesn't either. <laughs> kind of weird, the company whose CEO once had a huge rant about DEVELOPERS! 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 is completely ignoring their own developers. Eh, whatever. But, uh... Yeah, this game, as as I, you could probably guess by the title, this game is um, has you starring as a villain protagonist by the name of Galvis, he who is out to destroy the world or something or well, at least his original goal uh, goal is just to conquer the world. That's considering how much he is well, considering how much he it seems like he's just going to be uh, how much of his time has him oh uh, destroying at least. At least according to the backstory they give you at the beginning here, which is quite long, uh, that, that he seems like he's quite... That, you know, considering that if he was really out to originally destroy... Or, say, conquer the world, he wouldn't be killing everyone, and, but whatever. Anyway, um... I'm... I've been playing this game for about a good bit, and I figured, you know, I'd give you my first impressions, although I will say this, um, considering that this is an Xbox Live, it was originally an Xbox Live indie game, I'm actually a little surprised how long it takes into to get into it. I mean, if you read that entire opening reel there, and you watch the entire opening cutscene, and you don't skip any of that, that's, that's eight minutes. That's the length that they give you for an Xbox Live that uh, developers are given for their are automatically assigned for their game for one that for like an Xbox Live indie game demo so it's like that is really a little surprising in my opinion to actually see them go that far and that give you that much story right at the beginning of the game you, I mean Cthulhu saved the developers of Cthulhu saved the world kind of knew what they were getting into and they they intentionally just cut the crap, got you, and skipped right to having Cthulhu washed up on the beach right at the beginning, just because of the fact that they knew they were publishing on Xbox Live Indie Games, and they knew that they weren't going to be able to get to get everything they wanted to right at the beginning. But you know, that's a, that's a different game, and I and I gotta say one thing: c c this game, Evil Quest here is much much different than Cthulhu Saves the World. I mean, for one thing, it you played for just even five minutes it it one well five minutes past the opening cutscenes and all that you the inspiration from crystallis is very apparent the developers kind of mentioned that and well it it shows so hard it it you would not believe how easy how quickly it is that uh, you, you see the inspirations from crystallis just by the fact that you know you uh, just from various small things like the charge attack and the bit I mean I never played Crystallis as when uh, growing up so it was a, apparently a pretty good game and I missed out on it but I playing this I definitely want to give give it another go I've definitely seen the uh, I definitely wanted to make wish that it was available on the Wii virtual console or something but eh, that's that's just me speaking though but yeah, this game is definitely an action RPG in the vein of, of Crystallis, in the vein of, uh, well, the developers kind of say in the vein of Zelda and Crystallis. I, I'm not going to argue with them over uh, over whether Zelda's an RPG. I personally don't think it is, but that's just me. That's just me. Apparently, there's one guy's opinion. And uh, it's, um, I've been enjoying it so far. I've definitely had my uh, few gripes with the few nitpicks that I have with the game, mostly like, uh, some of the, like, uh, the fact that you stat, that your first, uh, that your, that your character's, like, trademark weapon is his axe, and that he stabs with it. You don't stab with an axe, you slash it with an axe. And, uh, I mean, your first weapon's a shank, but you could slash with that as well, and you get a sword later on, you could slash with that with it as well. I, unless there's, like, some point in the game where you... Where do you get like a lance? I don't know why they use like a, they swap in like an axe for your 
have you stabbing with your weapons. Yeah, well, whatever. It's just a... Like I said, most of my problems with this game so far, in my one hour of playing the game aim or so, is uh, mostly just uh, nitpicks, really. And I'm honestly quite fine with the how the game plays. It it's a very I mean it's a, not it's not too straightforward. The, you get a good assortment of spells that you get to try out with. Although I seem to ride the healing spell a little hard, mostly just because well I'm. And still learning how to play this game. The difficulty curve is probably a little steep. I mean, I mean, when you're still breaking out of prison after spoilers, you get sent to prison right off the back. Your your lead henchman betrays you. Yeah. Well, of course, it's all within the first five minutes of the game. At least the actual first five minutes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, with when you're still with still breaking out of prison, then you're trying to get your uh, shit. Uh, where was I going with this? I completely lost my train of thought. But oh yeah, when you're still breaking out of prison, I mean, it's like uh, even with the shank, you still you could still probably slash with. I don't know. That's just like I said. Most of my problems with this game are just nitpicks. Uh, and uh, yeah, for the most yeah, I I've been enjoying it so far. I mean, you get it's uh, a lot of the bosses. Like I said, the oh yeah, I remember where I was going with that. Like uh, when you're still breaking out of prison, it's like the first bosses you encounter are really quite they're really difficult for what you're given i ended up using up all my herbs that I, I had available on me just uh, getting through the first few bosses i mean it helps late, that you, later on you can actually buy a healing spell and i highly highly recommend you do so right off the bat because the, these guy that this game does not pull punches as far as difficulty but um you know, I think maybe we should just go back and uh, consider and explore a little bit more. But um, I gotta give it credit for uh, just that. You know, if, if you're going for a retro aesthetic, and, and you probably should be going all the way. They go ahead with the. They certainly try either. They certainly take that with to a logical extent with the uh, with the uh, with the sprite work and it. It's really good sprite work. I gotta give them that much. The graphics are pretty pretty. For I'm not too much of a graphics whore, but I do have to give them credit for doing a decent job with the sprites. I mean, stabbing with the axe aside, stabbing with the axe aside, especially. But uh, this game is definitely it definitely an, a bit of a looker, and I gotta give them credit for that much. And uh, but uh, you know, it's um, I have not. I can't quite put down why I love this game yet, but I have been, I will say this much though, it has definitely been enjoyable. I've uh, been playing, like, it's still pretty early, I'm still only pretty early on into the game. I'm only like level 7 or so, and there's a, and there's only, like, there's only like four, they kind of make it seem like there's only like four main dungeons. I mean, you're trying to find the four seals to unlock the chaos axe and use that to kill god or something or at least you have the power to anyway but uh, like i said i'm not far too far in the game but i'm enjoying the first but i'm enjoying what i've seen so far i'm enjoying all the little things i'm enjoying the the uh, i'm enjoying the combat the combat's relatively interesting to give them that much i i do find a I do find it a little strange, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to other games, uh, like, uh, used to, I don't know, Mega Man or something like that, just uh, the charge attack with your axe there, you're kind of forced to just be, stand completely still while you're charging, which uh, makes it a little bit hard to pull off in boss fights, but then again, I guess that's a, uh, I guess that's a, uh, I guess trying to make the player have to think about decisions like that is actually kind of a, interesting thing to say the least i mean i'm i'm not uh i look one day to look forward one day to making my own game so you know this isn't so i can kind of see where they were going from you kind of have to make them think about just uh about charging up that at uh, that uh that that the your charge orb attack that you pick up later on but like you pick up in the when you're breaking out of prison there but it's um it's, uh, I have to give them credit where credit's due. They, they it seems like they tr thought 
most of it well out. I mean, the, I do have to give him credit. I mean, uh, that said, though, uh, hmm. where was I going with that? I seem to lose my... I have the worst memory of all, I swear. But, uh, there we go. We also got to level up there. That'll give me a little bit of time to take a break and think for a bit. I'm not... Uh, hmm, yeah, I think probably best to just go with the strength and, and intelligence for the most part. I mean, early on, you'll definitely want to level up toughness and vit vitality just because of the fact that uh, those early enemies really hurt. The first boss, the first uh, two bosses really kind of uh, tripped me up, I'll say that much, even though there's nothing too fancy. I don't, I can't imagine them being anything too fancy considering, you know, it's just the first couple of bosses, but. I did almost get my ass handed to me there. Like, the difficulty curve... I don't know if I've already gone over this. This is how bad my memory is, folks. This is that I've already forgotten things that I've just said five minutes ago. But the difficulty curve in the first dungeon is... in the When you're breaking out of prison... Is a little wonky from my experience. It... But, uh, you know, once you get past all that, you get... There's a... There's definitely a solid game underneath all of this. I mean, I've... I'm... I'm definitely hooked on it. I gotta give it that much credit. I mean, the... I mean, outside of the fact that, you know, there's... I mean, I, I've had some small... I've nitpicked a bit on the difficulty curve on the... on the story taking a long time to get into, especially considering, you know, this is Xbox Live in This originated from Xbox Live Indie, and they only have eight-minute demos there, so... But, you know... All that aside, all that aside, I gotta give them credit at where they get things right. The... I love the sprite work. I love them. I love some of the music, especially the overworld music. I happen to love that the com the the different the variety of different spells that you get are certainly t something. Uh, this little puzzle right here is actually not bad. I'll, I'm looking forward to see if there's more like this in the later dungeons. Uh, uh, I because well, you know, because it actually tripped me up a little bit my first time. My when I was trying to get this through, I figured, oh, you know, it's just flip all the switches and I'll open the door. No, no, they actually, they actually take the, they actually take the time to think a bit about the dungeon design, and you gotta give them credit for that much, and, you know, they, I mean, especially concern, I mean, I'm actually remembering, like, break, when the whole break out of prison sequence, they, they, it's, 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 although they railroad you a bit in that part, since I guess, I don't know why they don't want you to go through grab all the items in any order, which I find a little weird, but, uh, it's not, you got give them credit in the fact that at least they thought things relatively thoroughly to give them that much. They, they knew, they, they wanted you to, that, they actually knew enough to, that, to, that first break out of prison tutorial dungeon, they knew what they wanted to show you there. They knew that they wanted you to pick up your they want on you to pick up your tr the charge orb so that way you can uh, make your way through that way you could uh, flip all the switches and that you get a feeling that they kind of knew what they were, that they knew what they were doing and they it certainly looks like they spent a good it certainly feels like they spent a good deal bit of time i mean i probably would have done something a little bit differently with the animations but that's just me and i have absolutely no artistic ability whatsoever so you know if uh, if the two guys who made this game are about as artistically inclined as me, I'm surprised they're actually able to make the sprite work as good as they did. So, <laughs> uh, well, you know, I think, uh, well, we're pretty damn close to the first boss, and I think I'll go ahead and leave you hanging here, because uh, I tried to avoid talking about the story too much, because, well, I want to keep this, uh, I want you to kind of see it for yourself, but, yeah, I think we'll... This will be a good place as any to wrap, wrap up this video. So, until next time, every everyone, I'm Dave, and that's what I've been playing. Take care.